No, the answer is no. You already spend so much money on games. Like you probably, you probably already have a table at home. Why do you need to buy another one? God, no, okay. Video's over, I'm gonna save people some money. Jesus Christ. Oh, <laughs> hey, you're, you're back and you're still buying games and you, you want a gaming table. You still want a gaming table? Oh gosh, oh my, oh my, oh my. Okay, so for some reason, you still really want to buy a gaming table. You think, oh, it'll make me play more games. So I'll actually just, you know, play the games instead of just researching them and having them sit on my bookshelf. Like, it really does make a lot more games more comfortable to play, but it's not really gonna be blowing your friends' minds, especially for the cost, unless you're like playing on the floor or something right now. But it's certainly really nice to have. And this is where I start telling you that I don't regret my purchase. I don't regret spending all this money on this table. So about four years ago, I bought this table off of Kickstarter through Board Game Tables. And it measures three by five feet internally with a two inch rail all around. And with these dimensions, this table is actually the perfect size for my needs. It's not colossal as to take up the entire room, but it's just big enough to fit all these big box games. That's pretty important to me. Ah! Yeah, it can actually just barely squeeze in TI4, which is really nice. This length makes it really nice for two people to sit very comfortably side by side. And because there's some wiggle room in size, you can actually fit people on the corners of the table like this, and it's not too uncomfortable. That means you can cram in about eight to 10 people if needed for those huge game nights. And of course you're gonna invite them over to show off your gaming table, right? So how's the rail while playing? Well, actually the rail is good and bad. It's good because your pieces will never fly off the table and get lost. But we realized that it doesn't exactly lead to the best posture while playing if you're not careful. It can actually put some weird strain on your back if you're not careful leaning forward. Yeah, I'm no health expert, but it looks like this strain is coming from the rail being higher than a normal table. So when you put your arms on it, the posture is just not as relaxing for your back. Oftentimes, I just find myself putting my hands on my thighs instead. And this weird rail makes it so that you can't really use the table for normal things, like writing, putting a laptop down, or eating a meal. So definitely look into some topper options if you buy a gaming table, it'll be worth it. And I'm sure this gaming table mat has gotten your attention by now. This is a spongy, mouse pad feeling cleanable mat. And man, this is probably the most memorable part of the table. This is what I miss on every surface now. It just makes picking up any little cardboard piece or card so much easier. And that can really add up for those longer games. Oh man, in that burgundy color, whew, something about it just makes games look so much nicer. And the color doesn't clash with components either. It's pretty easy to clean too. You just take it off the table, vacuum it, or shake it off outside. So some gaming tables can be just as expensive as some cars. So you better get something worth your money, right? Well, fortunately, gaming tables, just like cars, can have cup holders. I mean, you gotta hydrate it up while you're screaming across the table, right? So these pull out cup holders aren't exactly the greatest of quality, but they really do get the job done. Plus, I've noticed that the space can double as a phone or wallet holder during games. Normally, the rule is no drinks at the table. So either we have to put the cups on the floor or we just have to use water bottles. So this improves the quality of life and really does help for those longer gaming sessions. So is a gaming table worth it? Well, it certainly does look nice in this game room, but it costs about 800 bucks. Now, this is actually pretty cheap for gaming tables, but that's a lot more expensive than what you could find at Ikea or Walmart, and those are going to last you at least a couple of years. If you already have a decent table at home to play games on, I would say just stick with that. I mean, just save your money for some new games or like the next TI4 expansion. FFG comes out with stuff all the time. And this table was advertised as a do-everything sort of table that you can have like Thanksgiving dinner on. And... I would not agree with that. 
it just doesn't have the right look to be a proper dinner table with the stowed away cup holders and this weird underbelly hanging down. I would only confine it to a game room. Now one last thing, or else people are going to finish this video and go and try to look for the cheapest gaming table because they're so excited. And that is that gaming tables don't always have the best quality control. And maybe it's because my gaming table was under a grand, but to spend close to a grand and have some blemishes running through the table, yeah that feels kind of poopy. Luckily, customer service for these tables is generally on the good side. Unfortunately, they couldn't do much about the crease in the middle, so that's a project I'll have to tackle eventually. And, not gonna lie, it's a little rickety too, but uh, I mean I guess we film a lot of things here at Shelf Side, we constantly put like tons of games on this and heavy camera equipment, so I guess that's not too big of a deal. So I would recommend saving up for a nice one if you're still really interested on leveling up your game room. Note that I say game room because something like this is probably not going to fly for most people's dinner table. It seems like 800 bucks to get the highly recommended topper and cup holders is still rather low, so I guess you gotta spend at least a grand or two to get that high quality. I gotta fix the crease in the middle of the table, the topper is really unwieldy, and the table is rickety. But I really like it. It looks great, performs just well enough, and is a perfect size for my needs. And my friends are just so excited when we get to play on the Duchess as well. So my theory was that I could spend 800 bucks to make every single game I own better. And yeah, it worked out. Every single game I do own does play better on this table. Well, I hope I can inform you more about gaming tables in general. I mean, if you have any more questions, leave it down below and I'll do my best to answer them. As always, shout out to our amazing patrons over at Patreon for making videos like this possible. We have John S, Manuel G, Brian C, and Clifford H, and the mad lad of cardboard, ZL. Thank you guys so much. We also have a donation box below if you guys want to help out support the channel. Anyways, yeah, subscribe. Uh, yeah, ask any questions about this table. And uh, yeah.